Why should I get a business partner? I'm Tim Diesel, I'm a commercial real estate consultant. This video is gonna to talk to you about why should you get a business partner? Do you even need one? So I get this question asked a lot because uh, I've made a statement before. I use partners for everything. Every single deal, I very rarely do it by myself, whether it's a business or a building or anything. Uh, I, I love getting partners. And there's a couple reasons for this. Uh, the first reason is you share the workload, right? Whatever it is coming at you, if you have multiple partners, maybe if you only have one partner, but if you have one or two, you can split the workload up, right? So maybe it's, uh, hey, listen, you're gonna be in charge of uh, getting our financing together. You're gonna be kind of the CFO of the business. Uh, you're gonna be in charge of getting our personnel and our management, kind of like an HR. You're gonna be in charge of this. See what I'm saying? You're, you're splitting things up so you don't have to shoulder the burden of everything. That's very, very important. Um, you won't notice it once you're in the, the, the deal, maybe like a year after, but you'll notice it when it's up front. You'll really notice uh, a lot of the, um, uh, the workload just being divided. This gives you more time, more time to do other stuff. A lot of us have other jobs, other um, primary uh, responsibilities, right? And maybe you wanna invest part-time. Well, it's very difficult to invest part-time if you're the only guy contributing your time and your expertise and your money and everything else. Well, if you have partners, you've got a lot more free time to do what you wanna do. Maybe your responsibility is find other deals. Maybe you're just the money. Depending on what it is, freeing up time is so valuable. This is very, very important because if you're overworked, stressed out, you don't know what you're doing, that's going to really sabotage uh, your workflow and really the deal and your partners, right? Because you're, you're never going to find a common ground. You're always going to say, listen, I'm working more than everybody else. Well, in actuality, you're really not. It's just you're overworked. So that's another thing. It really frees up a lot of your time. Here's the last one. And I don't even know if there's any scientific proof behind this or anything, but this is so true. Every deal I've done, if I have a partner involved, for some reason, we're able to raise more money and we're able to get the attraction of other investors into the deal much, much easier. I don't know why, and I don't know what the psych psychological play behind this is. If you're the only one doing the deal, for some reason, the perception is there's not too many other people interested. But if you approach an investor um, and you say, listen, I've got two other partners on this. For some reason, they feel like there's more people who are interested in this opportunity. And I don't know if this is true or not, but there must have been a study done something. Someone, If someone wants to Google that and let me know if there was a study done on that, I'd be very curious. Every time we do a deal, if it's a big deal especially, if we have partners involved, it's so much easier to get everybody else on board. But if it's just me, man, I feel like I'm pulling teeth. Uh, it's very, very difficult. And since then, I've always had partners. I've always, always, always had partners because it's, um, uh, it just makes everything so much easier for me. Yeah, the downside of all this, you get less of the money, but it's really not as bad when you start looking at everything. Um, that's okay. That's not really a, a huge issue because you're gonna make a lot of money if you do it right. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Hope you guys got a lot out of that. If you have any questions on anything, please let me know. Thank you so much.